Hey, how's it going? It's Sean Bradshaw from CyberFret.com. And in this lesson, I'm gonna show you one of the absolute most common guitar strums that you'll find in a ton of songs. In fact, I call this the Desert Island Strum. If you were stranded on a desert island and could only bring one strum with you, this would be the one to bring. So, in this kind of style of strumming, one of the most important things is that your right hand and right arm is moving constantly down and up. And in this case, uh, this, this strum involves some eighth notes, and I'm not going to go into all the nitty gritty of, you know, the, the different types of rhythms. I'm really just going to kind of talk you through this strum. Um, but understand that your right hand and right arm just needs to be moving constantly down and up. And what happens is sometimes you're going to be hitting the strings and there's going to be other times where you're going to be making a motion where you're not going to be hitting the strings. So here's that strum kind of in some slow motion and then I'm going to kind of talk you through it. So I'm actually going here, I'm just going from a G chord to a C to a D and back to a G. But the strum here, what I want to do is I'm going to be strumming down. I'm going to make an upward motion but miss. Then down, up, miss, up, down, up. So the whole strum is down, miss, down, up, this, up, down, up. All right. Now, as I'm switching chords, a lot of times, this is just kind of a, a general strumming thing, is a lot of times as a transition, as you're moving from one chord to another, a lot of times as that last strum, what I'm doing is I'm actually lifting up my left hand fingers and kind of strumming the strings open. All right, so listen to this as I go between the G and the C here. All right, so, uh, you know, I'm just very lightly kind of brushing on the strings. One thing I'm not doing is you know, strumming those really loud and giving them emphasis. And if I was truly playing a song where I was strumming this slow, there'd be no need to do that. But what happens is once you're playing faster, you kind of need something to help you get from one chord to the next. So that's kind of a little strumming secret there is putting kind of a transition strum. And, and when you're doing kind of these basic, uh, what are sometimes referred to as open position chords, the cowboy chords, basic chords that already have some open strings in them, then that when you strum those strings open as a transition, they don't really sound out of place. So again, here's our Desert Island strum. We have down, miss, down, up, miss, up, down, and then that transition strum where I strum open and head to the next chord. So if you're ever kind of in a situation where you're playing a tune and you're not sure what strum uh, to play, pull this one out and you'll find that it works in a lot of different situations. All right, have fun with your new strum. Have a good one.